Robert Morris uh, for Save the Silly Humans and Save Humanity. I uh, It's been bugging me all day, and I felt like I needed to record something, but I didn't know where to start. And uh, Well, I've still been reeling since uh, Saturday night's show. Um, it was a awesome show. Um, I've never been so entertained by my entire six month career doing this <laughs> no I uh, no but seriously I uh, it was enlightening and uh, I guess where I'll start is uh, first off my conveyance of my I guess despondency towards uh, those that are no longer uh, awake uh, the ones that have been brainwashed and uh, Thor pointed out uh, a good point and yeah uh, I uh, I, I had reached a point of disgust to the to the point where uh, I blame people for their inaction and their uh, you know just uh, simple ignorance and you know for being so easily fooled. Like if people like us work so hard to try and uh, expose lies and these false flags why is it they can't wake up and pay attention right and for that reason I guess you know I had a little bit of a chip on my shoulder and I promise from this, this day forward I will no longer use the term sheeple to describe those that we are trying to wake up I uh, you know thought long and hard about it and uh, I've come to that conclusion and promise guys um, we're all capable of change uh, you just need to be steered in the right direction by uh, the right people uh, with, with with love in their heart. And uh, anyway, so uh, forgive me all, all of you wonderful people out there who just are unaware. Uh, you won't hear that word come out of my mouth in regards to you anymore. Anyhow, uh, moving forward, I uh, found an interesting article today uh, on a, a website called Brainsturbator. And uh, it was an article written in 2010, and it was entitled The Conspiratainment Complex. And it's actually quite interesting because 2010, I don't know how, how old the truther movement is per se, quote unquote, but um, we were, you know, labeled as conspiracy theorists and, you know, still are by the masses. But this article actually uh, goes into, uh, in, into the conspiracy theory uh, community and kind of details out and compares how it is very similar to the rise of and and I can never say this word evangelicalism and, and uh, you know what I mean uh, the, 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 the the churches and the crusades because they were all uh, like all of these splintered religious groups through you know the last couple thousand years uh, were able to operate with impunity um, as individual like um, orthodox or unorthodox groups and it kind of mirrors what's happening today with uh, with our truther communities right now as you are having a lot of you know um, opposed views um, a lot of different takes um, does this all sound familiar like you know and I guess the point is is that um, like religion everybody's going to have an opinion about something you know opinions are like assholes everybody does have one and um, what we need to do is uh, again like we touched on on Saturday night several times I believe is that uh, you know um, the root of our problem is is that we are so hung up on the what as opposed to the why and what we need to do is uh, while expressing all of our views because none of us not any one of us could necessarily be right. Not any one of us is necessarily wrong. Um, and we got to keep pushing those points, yes. But in the act of working and operating as a team, as, as a unified unit, um, we got to put those those views aside. Um, it's not the views that are... Uh, the views aren't the message. The views are not the message. The message is the world's fucked up and people aren't paying attention to where real information and real research is coming out from. Now, yes, um, there's a huge stigma associated with the truth or community because we're like, you know, armchair warriors. I mean, we, we, we go from website to website. We, we use the information that we can gather 
uh, from the sources online. And for that reason, um, anybody who thinks that they're smart will automatically think that, oh, well, you know, uh, you can find the you can find any answer that you're looking for and, and uh, add logic to it and, and, and make it sound, uh, you know, uh, feasible. Now, that immediately puts us into a category of not necessarily true. And again, you know, the unawoken will, will turn to, to, to CNN because it's gospel. Now, this means two things. First off, and for uh, for okay, yeah, I'll, I'll go. I'll go into um, I'll go into production value first. I'm not saying that anybody's making shitty videos. That's not what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is that um, we need to start organizing, start creating productions that people want to see. Um, like you know, come together, start uh, start c c uh, combining. YouTube videos into larger presentations, uh, maybe stories, backstories of the people that are telling the stories. Like these kinds of things will actually add credibility and um, and, and substance to to the theories themselves. I mean, uh, they're they're only as effective as the uh, as far as the listener um, wants to invest their time. And you know, like if for instance. Uh, you know, I, I was putting out videos uh, about black holes, and I've been a plumber all my life. You know, going into that isn't necessarily going to uh, to, to to give people you know a whole lot of confidence in what I'm saying, because then again, all I've done is compiled information off the interwebs. But however, you know, if uh, by being a plumber, what if I uh, you know what if I spent uh, 10 years researching quantum physics and and nobody told nobody said that and, and and nobody knew that and nobody covered that aspect then you know well if they did then maybe oh well being a plumber is not so bad everyone needs to make money and uh now you know uh you're you know you're, you're suddenly a notch above where you were you know uh, i guess what i'm trying to say is that um people are simple creatures um and they have knee-jerk reactions to stimulus, and we have to kind of uh, we we have we have to basically smooth that out. And the only way we're going to do that is by kind of using the uh, the techniques and and, uh, and the uh, style of. And I, I know you guys hate the idea, but it, it's like we have to kind of use the mass media's tactics. Uh, the mainstream media's tactics to win our to win our you know to win our people back and 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 show them like what's going on and uh, the second thing that I wanted to to, to kind of go on about um, is uh, well we, we we need to start to delegate we need to start to organize we need to create like a, a like a, a, a not necessarily a structure I hate structure uh, structure uh, compartmentalizes and limits people I like people to do things uh, like outside of the box I like to think outside of the box as much as possible and in fact that's why I'm doing this video um, we need we need to start collaborating and like um, what's happening now is I, I see it happening like, this is something that's happening and it is moving forward uh, but it, it's it's gonna take time but the number one thing before anybody will be able to work together is the views and the opinions have to get put aside. We have to be able to unify and spread the one message and that is that shit's about to go sideways in a big way and we need to collectively, uh, you know, win the hearts and minds of, of our people back, no matter where you're from. And, uh, I guess you could say that's uh, that's the end of uh, this this short video. Um, I love you all, and uh, I know there's a couple of uh, I, you know some feelings have been hurt in the last three episodes. Uh, a couple of people, you guys got to remember too, man. Um, I'm new at this. If I didn't invite you on the last show, it wasn't because I was trying to snub you. Um, it's just because we're new, and we're we're trying to fit as many people in as possible. I mean. We had a backlist of uh, 15 people on standby to send invites to if uh, if we had lines open, and, and we sent out tons of invites on Saturday. So I mean, if if you didn't get on, don't uh, don't get upset. 
there's more shows uh, coming out. Uh, the rapid fire free for all is gonna happen uh, later this week. Uh, I still haven't decided on a day yet. Um, I don't want to uh, conflict with uh, any of the other popular uh, uh, shows out there uh, that that are actually doing something uh, constructive. And uh, I mean, I, I was thinking maybe possibly Thursday night, but uh, I'll leave it up for uh, you know. Uh, I gotta, I gotta talk to, uh, I gotta talk to the different communities and see, uh, see whose toes I'm stepping on and, and figure out a good time, because I, I want to be able to open up the lines to everybody in the channel, uh, in in the community rather, and uh, allow you to get in there first in, first up, and uh, you know, there's something that you want to say, I want to know, and uh, oh, and 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 there's the other thing too, uh, and it's connected with the first thing I was talking about. about amping up the production quality of and, and you know the, the general flavor of, of, of what we do and that is to you know get your DSLR cameras out in the streets start start talking to the people you know um, you got to show them that like we want to know how they feel and you know like you can just pummel them with videos and they're gonna shut down but you get them in your face you know, you get you get in their faces rather. Um, they might tell you to go uh, to go jump in the lake, but you know, on the other hand, when people realize that someone out there is interested in what they're feeling and thinking, they'd be more likely to wonder why you're wondering about their general, you know, well-being. You know, and and when they're curious, that's when they're going to start opening the doors that we are are are, are, are building here. So. You know, guys, this is an interactive process. Um, don't um, limit yourself to uh, to YouTube. It's a, it's it's a compartment. It, it's uh, it's designed to keep uh, their thumbs on us. It's designed to um, it's designed to piss us off and make us feel helpless. Because you know, you know, you want to be you want to have integrity, so you don't you know you don't click the monetization button because I won't. And guess what? I, I still have a low number of subscribers now. I don't care about subs. I tried to make that clear Saturday night. I will never ask for a sub. I will never ask for a thumbs up because I don't give a shit about that. All I care about is the message getting out. And if people want to share it, share it. Um, people want to sub, sub. You want to thumbs up me, thumbs up me. The, I will have to say the free, uh, the rapid fire free for all show is only going to be opened up to the Save the Silly Humans community. So will have to join that in order to get into the queue but uh, other than that like I said man I'm not about ego I don't give a rat's ass about monetization unless it's going to pay for me to do this full time and then yeah that's where I'm going to sell t-shirts and find some way to make cash but other than that guys we got to start thinking responsibly and we got to get organized and uh, we got to start making some serious plans you know it's the only way to get. It's the only way to get the powers to be to sign that hundred-year truce that Thor was talking about, and uh, you know I, I believe wholeheartedly in it. So that said, guys, you have a wonderful night. Um, much love and thanks to all of you, and I uh, I look forward to uh, to our uh, to our next event. And just take care, and uh, take care of each other, guys. Peace.